एक्स्ट्रा टाइम शुमार आई नो इज अट यंगर दैन यू बट ग्रोइंग अप इन बारबेडस हाउ वेर वर यू ऑफ जोफर आर्चर वेल कमिंग अप आई हैव ऑलवेज हर्ड अबाउट जोफर um I've never had an encounter with him out in the middle. Um I've spoken to him a couple of times but he seems to be a special talent and not because of what has transpired for him in his career thus far but always heard people say that Jofa is one to watch. So I'm not surprised of what he's achieved so far in his career. And when he played a big part in England winning the World Cup last year and then burst on the scene in the Ashes as well. were people in barbados were people in the caribbean pleased for him or was there a feeling that this is one we let get away he should have been playing cricket for the west indies i guess it was a bit of both um i guess we as barbadians we are very proud people and we were proud to see what he would have achieved um but yeah any day he's over on the english side now and i mean i wish him all the best in his future endeavors in terms of his career but yeah i think i think barbadians were very happy and west indians on the whole were very happy I mean for him as in to win the world cup that's that's a great feat or to be a part of a winning side thank you hi good uh, evening shamar um we've heard from the assistant coach uh, Roddy Estrick about concerns over the batting um especially from the senior players in the last um, warm up game would you say that is a testament to the the good work that the bowlers have been doing and you know just so for a comment on how you think that the bowlers will will do in this some upcoming series yeah clearly our bowling will be our strength um and it has been our strength for the last couple of seasons our last couple of years um if you look at our batting i mean when we do get it right as a batting unit we have won cricket games and that's why i'm stressing on the point that we need to bat well especially against team like england at home we're going to be very challenging um the coach i guess he would feel that way because of what he would have seen in the last game where he said the bowlers really raised the intensity and we fell down but i still don't feel that when we come to the test series that it might go that way we just as i said we just need to play ourselves and stick to the bla- basics and stick to our game plans good afternoon shamar um, good afternoon thanks for your time um obviously earlier this week we heard of the passing of sir everton weeks Uh, obviously he's someone that you would have spent a lot of time with um in your developmental years as well as your um, cricketing career you know he was always passing through the barbers dressing room with you guys in the what was the <laughs> the heavy weeks trophy tournament tell us a little bit about that relationship with to everton and yourself and these younger members of the team because obviously he's he, he's obviously died at age 95 but very few people know that he actually had a very good relationship with all the modern day players Yeah um, when I when I scored my first test hundred in India against Afghanistan I did speak about Sir Everton and I mean even in first class cricket whenever cricket is being played at Kensington he would always be in the president suite watching cricket and we were always able to go up there and whether it be during the game or after the game I have a word with him about what he would have seen or what we can do differently and that kind of stuff and I mean it's sad that a great man is gone but i mean he's left a legacy and hopefully the guys in the team know but carry on that legacy and the other great players before him and after him what were some of the things that he told you um we speak about you know the the afghanistan 100 where you batted for 6 hours and he told you you know you can't get away if you keep it on the ground you can't get caught rather if you keep it on the ground what were some of the other things that he would have told you over the years that would have either inspired you or would have um, you know channeled your mind in terms of batsmanship definitely um from the afghanistan series as a child as i said there as well um in terms of playing spin bowling as you rightfully said he can't get out if he hit the ball on the ground and he would also tell me about getting very close to it or very far from it so those things made a big difference in terms of my development um, going forward i didn't understand it when i was at 11 years old as simple as it sounds but as i got older it definitely played a big part in my success in terms of reaching this level. Yeah, sorry, one more for me please Shamar and uh, you know obviously this test match has been billed as a bit of a bit of a battle between the two captains. Would you say they are the two best all-rounders in world cricket and can you compare and contrast Jason Holder and Ben Stokes? 
Yeah, I think I definitely think they're the best all rounders in in cricket. Um, when you look at <clears throat> when you look at how Ben plays cricket, I admire him as a cricketer as well. I mean, is that never said that attitude? He's, he's a total competitor. And when you look at my captain, is is to me is a bit more laid back, more cool, but his numbers speak for itself. So when you look at these two guys, it'd be it'd be interesting to see how these two guys go about this series and clashing against one another. And if you don't mind, just one more question. Sorry, Dario. Um, and just tell me what the last couple of weeks have been like, essentially living inside a cricket ground all day and all night. How boring has it been and how have you been able to relieve that boredom? Well, to be to be fair and to be honest, I don't think the guys have been that bored. Um, the ECB has done a great job in terms of providing a games room for us, even though we weren't able to venture out. But the guys really kept themselves occupied in that game room. And I guess just spending time with one another, I haven't seen one another for such a long time, has done well. And I can't say we were actually bored, to be honest. You guys really enjoyed the time thus far. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.